was that interested, he was just going to kind of walk through the mm -hmm. night and go look for a girlfriend. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. I was thinking of Proverbs 13 says, A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. We are the recipients of a rich heritage. Because of that, we believe the inheritance of our faith will long outlast the inheritance of our riches. God blesses us so much. Then. The way it was reaches back and receives what the generation before us has handed us, and it reaches forward and hands it to the generation that follows us. No matter the weapon or the gear, our mission is to show you our way. What about this, boy? This is our faith. This is our family. This is our heritage. Domino! Domino! This is the way it was. Every fall starts a new chapter, trying to figure out where and what these whitetails will be doing. Really what we're trying to do is figure out what move they'll make before it's even made. If that doesn't sound crazy enough, try and mix in documenting the hunt with a camera and hiding two people up in a tree or a blind. It isn't easy. But I guess that's why it keeps the Rev coming back every season and chasing giant Kansas whitetails. All right, it's my first morning in Kansas. I got in late last night. It was a Sunday. I preached and uh, drove in. Uh, late. It seems like everybody's on the board already, and so uh, we're going to make history, Goat says, and, uh, and I'm going to shoot the first day instead of the last day. And so uh, we're going to head to a place, and uh, they got a, a couple of nice bucks been showing up. Uh, we're excited. I'm excited. I've been grinding my teeth all night uh, waiting for this morning. I love being in Kansas. All right, it's a uh early in November, beginning of the rut. Bucks have been getting a little active. They've been noticing. It's about 30 minutes after daylight. And uh, we're gonna try a little something, see if we can, we ran a couple of does off when we came in this morning. And lost our decoys. So we're gonna see if we can do a little grunting and rattling. See if we can catch one of these bucks, maybe out there cruising, looking. See if we can grab his attention and bring him on in here. I did a little old rattling sequence. Uh, we, you saw the deer first. I couldn't even well, see. I was sitting him. on the right side. You were over here, and he came. We were in a little pop-up blind yeah. there. And I had he a came bush. from that way, and as soon as I saw him, I'm like. And when I looked, I couldn't see him. I looked at you, you your eyes were bugged out. <laughs> and, uh, and so I kept looking, you said, be still, be still. He was looking right at us. I don't even remember how far it was, probably 27, 28 yards, something like that. No, he's got to take two steps. What a good, that was a great deer. I shot smooth over him. I think he could hair. I think I put it right between my 20 and my 30. Oh, 
Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. The Way It Was is brought to you by WTL Ministries. Reaching outdoorsmen through the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a good, that was a great deer. I shot smooth over him. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. That little Simmons Mako went right through that shoulder into the good stuff, baby. Oh my gosh. We're not going to say Domino yet. No. I'll never say that to you. Oh my gosh. But he took off. That is a gorgeous deer. I'm the camera. Second he's chances. To, he's supposed to be doing all the talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. When's the last time a preacher got out caught by a cameraman? Oh, I don't know. When, when you're the cameraman, it probably happens a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the bow was so fast when you shot, and I, we we couldn't tell we played it back. But I thought you had. Yeah, I mean, me it smacked. It looked like it went right in the right place, and we were high five. Yeah, and got him and all this stuff. And call in, tell him to bring. We're going. We got him down. Bring Lulu. Lulu. Yeah, yeah, Lulu. 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 Shots forty-one yard right in here, right here. And he wheeled and went that way. Thank you, this yeah. All right. Here's a heartbreak right here. You know, Lynn and Sid talk about it all the time when you bow hunt. It's a game of inches, and uh, we trailed and trailed and looked for that deer. It didn't bleed much, and uh, we finally found the arrow was broke off, and it looks like it only had about three inches uh, of penetration right in that shoulder, and uh, feel like if it had been back a little bit further then uh, we probably have a dead deer, but I think we probably get to, I may get to shoot this one a little bit later, so we get another shot at him. So, um, man, it was a great morning, though, and uh, that's hunting. That's, uh, that just happened, so anyhow. Point the shoulder. Front end uh, shot don't always come true. Yeah, when we finally found that arrow broken half, he'd knocked it out. And it wasn't about, about, about that's true. right. Yeah, a couple inches of penetration. It happens. Yeah. It's a nice GMC van. Um, just looking for some spare parts, maybe to add to a nice camper up here. Um, we're gonna go over on the other side of Bluff Creek and there's a couple other locations. There's an old house over there we're gonna look at, see if we can't get in it. And, uh, just give it a different view. We've looked, we've sat here three times already, so we're gonna try and get a different view and see if we can, uh, same principle, these deer are moving up and down the creek, so we're just gonna see if we can catch them coming. Um, we're gonna be on the west side of the creek, though, uh, probably this afternoon rather than the east side. So, anyway, get out of the junkyard. Boy, 
I bet winter's got cold in that place right there. This is an old home place. And uh, just on the other side, there's an old wooden tree stand. And uh, this, this is a place where old timers hung out. There's logs they cut. This is pretty cool. Neat little old deer stand. We've got a perch right out here. I think uh, I think we make it make this one happen. This would be really cool to use a blind that somebody built, I don't know, a heck a hundred years ago maybe. I don't know how old this is. Yeah, this is the way it was right here. The Way It Was is brought to you by Monster Meal, Animal Attraction, Premium Nutrition, Superior Results. We got our blind built. Windows cut, ready for the night. Got our monster meal out, ready. And uh, all we gotta do is come in here and sit and kill us a big old buck tonight. All right, so this is our first evening hunt in the upper room. That's what we're calling this place. So we saw two little bucks this morning cruising and uh, it's hot, it's 78. November the 4th in Kansas is very unusual, but we've got a little bit of a breeze, look like it's coming from the southwest, so hopefully these deer, we've been hunting this same location, so we've got the creek behind us, so we're hoping to catch these bucks just cruising this creek, looking for a doe, and uh, we've got some monster meal out, and uh, Hopefully he'll come in. Uh, we're just uh, gonna give it a shot this evening. We had several big mature does in here yesterday evening at dark. And um, and so maybe that'll happen. We'll get us some live decoys tonight and big boy will show up. Well, these just aren't the caliber of bucks that the Rev was hoping for. With temps being unseasonably warm, hopefully a little patience and perseverance will pay off for Gavin. Well, we uh, we headed out. You took me to the place behind the house. Mm -hmm. and oh, and this, this was the last day again? As a matter of fact, it was. Oh. It was, it was the last day, last hunt. <laughs> About the last 30 minutes of daylight. Well, so it's happened before the last day turned into the next to the last day. <laughs> this one here was the last, the last hunt. day. All right. We're back over here this evening. Uh, we've done some running around this afternoon. It's got pretty warm. And uh, it's calm. 80 degrees on the truck. We're going to sneak down here. We've got a... Uh, Saw some does in there earlier today, and uh, maybe uh, we may these live decoys bring us in a buck. So we're gonna go try it. It's my last hunt, so the last hunt always works for me. So we're gonna see if it happens again tonight. Looks like these warm temps aren't affecting the deer movement. The bucks are on their feet. Now the rev just needs the right one to come in.
line, there's an archery window there. I, I kind of opened it up thinking I'd get a shot at him through that long window. And, um, you, I bumped it or made a noise. He looked up at us and you said, hang on, hang on. This show is brought to you by Hybrid Light. The power of the sun in the palm of your hand. When we were in that blind, there's an archery window there. I, I kind of opened it up thinking I'd get a shot at him through that long window. And, um, you, I bumped it or made a noise. He looked up at us. And, you said, hang on, hang on. Shoot eight. We had some junk on the bottom. Okay then. I hit him a little back. Oh, he'll be out there about 50 yards. Piled up dead? Yeah. Think so? <sighs> Why don't I feel so good then? Huh? Why don't I feel so good then? was angling a little bit, so it could have got in the lung on the opposite side. We'll look at the footage, but it was a little bit far back. He took a step right when I let him go. He's a pretty heavy eight. He had a little tank or something. He might have been a... There's no matter on it. He's dead. He's dead. We'll find it. Right there, white belly. You got to be kidding me. Hi. Oh man, we got a dandy, ain't we? That's a good deer, Paul. Oh my gosh. Now the Rev told me Monday he didn't want to shoot no eight points. I'm proud of him. Yeah, yeah, I think you ought to be. He's a nice deer. It seems like every time in Kansas, for whatever reason, it comes down to the last hunt. We, we're wanting to head out in the morning and get back to football, um, Friday night football back home. Uh, Paul's got a grandson and my son Jeb's playing. So uh, we're heading out in the morning. This bad boy came out and uh, gave us an opportunity right here, last hunt, last 30 minutes. And it just reminds me that God works all things together for good of those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. Um, I have prayed this week that God would give me an opportunity um, and, and it just hadn't happened. It's been one of the slowest weeks I've ever had in Kansas. It's hot. Um, it's early November and it was 80 degrees when we got in the deer stand. Um, but God works all things together for good. We don't know all of those things in our life and we go through those things in our life and we don't get it. Um, sometimes it frustrates us, but I want you to know God works all of those frustrating things out for your good and, and for His glory. Have you ever trusted Christ as your Savior? Has there ever been a time in your life that you've placed faith in Him? I know this, this year and all that we've gone through in 2020 is, has been frustrating and hectic. I want you to know God's in control and He works all things together for good of those who love Him and are called according 
to his purpose. If you've never trusted Christ before, we would love an opportunity to talk to you. On the bottom of the screen, there's a, a website. It's www.inthehunt.org. And you can go to that website and talk to a counselor, uh, typing them questions, spiritual questions you might have, uh, so that you can begin a relationship with Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching The Way It Was. The Way It Was is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Expedition Outdoors. Reveal by Tacticam. Three Rivers Archery. Black Eagle Arrows. Simmons Shark Broadheads. Be sure to keep up with us on Facebook and Instagram.